Hey everyone, this is Andrew Sports Fan, and many of you have heard the news and you're looking at the photo right now. It is true. The musician known as Prince passed away on Thursday, April 21st, 2016, uh, 11 o'clock New York time. Uh, 10 o'clock Minnesota time, uh, nobody really knew about the news uh, until 1 o'clock New York time and spread all over the internet. Uh, yesterday, which was April 21st, I was at the nursing home that I volunteer at, and I was on the second floor, and uh, on the TV, they had uh, a local ABC station on, Channel 7, because the residents on that floor like to watch the Jew, and uh, they were all stunned, because we knew about the plane crash, but you know, the death is so sudden. He was only 57, he was shy of turning 58, and... All over social media, people were giving very positive thoughts to a musician that will always be remembered as a man who basically influenced 1980s music. And... The way I viewed Prince as a musician, he combined R&B and rock and roll together. I mean, I don't even know a musician who did that next to Michael Jackson because, you know, beat it has a rock and roll well, guitar solo from Michael Jackson, which, believe it or not, he knew how to play guitar too, but... Prince was a musician with the guitar. You gotta give him credit. I mean, that's one of the reasons why he got into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. And all the hits that he had, considering that, you know, people still forget about I Wanna Be Your Lover, which was a disco song, and it will always be remembered as his first real hit back in 1978. And... You know, my memories of Prince, you know, were, were, were magical. I mean, I, I, I loved the music. I enjoyed it. And everybody else enjoyed it. Well, all of his fans, including me. And uh, I first heard Prince when I was in middle school because one day I was in occupational therapy and the occupational therapist put on the CD and uh, decided to get me a copy of it. The very best of Prince. Which, believe it or not, came out 15 years ago. And I have it on my phone along with the Purple Rain soundtrack. Now, Believe it or not, I still have a copy of Purple Rain on cassette. And it is remarkable to this day that it still lasted 32 years and it still sounds the way it did back in 1984. And I want to give a quick print story that not that many people are first finding out about it now, but I'll, I'll give the story about Prince. So, this was in 2007, and me and my parents were planning a trip to go to Vegas and see Prince at the Rio, and turns out he wasn't performing the dates that we were going on the trip, and we were just so disappointed, and my father, he told me this right after he found out about the news of Prince's sudden passing was that he always wanted to see Prince 
and he always wanted to see Barry White. And keeping in mind two legendary artists that my dad never got to see, but Barry White's been dead for 13 years now, and Prince just recently, and thankfully my father got to see Donna Summer perform a few times, and I actually did. And, you know, it, it's just sad that, again, it's, it's so sudden, it came out of nowhere, and uh, the autopsy was performed on April 22nd, and uh, we still don't know, as of, as of my recording this video, before 10 o'clock here in New York, uh, nobody knows what's going on, so... All we know is there was an autopsy, and that was basically it, so. All we have is his music, and I'm pretty sure they're probably going to televise his funeral. I mean, they televised Whitney Houston's funeral, they televised Michael Jackson's funeral. You have to televise Prince's funeral. I mean, if you don't, that's a big shame. But when, when there is a Prince funeral... Let me tell you, folks. There, it's gonna be, it's gonna be something the whole country is gonna watch, just like Michael Jackson and just like Whitney Houston. And you know, over a seven-year stretch, I mean, we've lost three major artists that influenced music from the 1980s. I mean, it's a sad thought, but you know. Prince, I hope you hear the doves cry in heaven, and you got through life in one hell of a ride. Now, if you enjoyed this video, uh, please be sure to give it a good old like. Uh, comment below if you know you have any memories of Prince. Maybe you saw him in concert. Maybe you got an autograph from him. Maybe you and him probably talked on Twitter before he passed away, or, you know, just, just give me your memories of Prince. I mean, I want to hear from you guys, and be sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram, at AndrewSportsFan. I will uh, end the video on that note.